Today we are flying in New Zealand from the capital Wellington, past volcanoes, to the geothermal wonderland and tourist hotspot Rotorua. This is the fourth flight as World Tour by Flight Sim flies you around the world in your own private jet. Welcome back team, let's do it. That's better. And rotate. Let's go over to the centre of Wellington and have a look at the uh, have a look at the Beehive. It's the Parliament buildings for the capital of New Zealand. And it's called the Beehive because it looks like a beehive, funnily enough. That's the centre of Wellington in front of us. There it is, right in front of us. Yeah, it's a bit close to our nation's, <laughs> nation's capital. That's lower hut there, and that uh, kind of line you see in the in the earth between the green and the city, that's a fault line. It's a pretty massive fault line, like they have in San Francisco, um, which is south of San Francisco. So people are concerned that one day there might be a big one. Um, hopefully, not in the next few hundred years. Turn the gear up a bit late. So Wellington, oh that's the auto throttle kicking in there. Uh, Wellington's known as one of the windiest cities in the world, if not the windiest. Uh, but today it's pretty good. It's a bit windier than when we arrived from Christchurch, but it's uh, it's pretty mild. That's Kapiti Island over in the distance. And looking back towards Lower Hut. How are you doing back there? Is the champagne to your liking? Or did it explode like a volcano? That's Paraparamu below us. Has a very good golf course actually, one of the top golf courses in New Zealand. Okay, we're coming up to the central volcanic plateau in the North Island of New Zealand. The snow-covered mountain in front of us is Mount Ruapehu. It's, uh, it's exploded in the past, it's a volcano. It's also got a good ski slope on it, Whakapapa. It's currently in financial difficulty because sometimes the, uh, the, wind, the weather's a bit warm in the North Island, so it doesn't always get the season that uh, they do down on the South Island for skiing. In front of us is Narahoe, the smaller mountain, and we'll get closer to that. And when we get closer, you'll see it's almost a perfect, uh, perfect cone. Uh, they're both volcanoes. There's also Mount Tarawera, so there are three mountains. Now those names, Tarawera, Ruapehu, Narahoe, are Maori names, and Maori is the native language of New Zealand. So that's Ruapehu, Mount Ruapehu. It's the tallest mountain in the. North Island, uh, 2,800 meters high. As I mentioned, it's an active volcano. It had exploded in 2007, so not that long ago, really. This whole area around the mountains is called the Tongariro National Park. It's a UNESCO World Heritage location. Now, it's looking pretty dry there, but let's have a look at what it looks like in the winter. And there you go, that's roughly what it looks like in the winter. 
uh, when there's been a, been a big uh, snow dump. Yeah, it's not always doesn't always have this much snow. That's why it's uh, it's having some financial difficulties. The ski slopes are, but um, but it can look like that. Mr. Perfect Cone on the left, and on the right is is uh, Ruapehu. So there's an alpine crossing, it's called the Tongariro Alpine Crossing. It's considered one of the best one day hikes in the world, uh, where you basically climb through these uh, through these mountains. Looking a bit low there, a bit of check, uh, check what's going on. Should be okay. And one thing, that uh, mountain Narahui in front of us, that was uh, Mount Doom in Lord of the Rings. So Peter Jackson, who's a New Zealander, he filmed, where well, he produced, created and produced Lord of the Rings from Tolkien's books and uh, used Narahoe as Mount Doom in the movies. See another small crater there, that's, uh, I believe that's Tarawera, uh, this kind of messy, more messy volcano in, in front of us. So three volcanoes in a row there. In front of us is Lake Taupo. It was caused by one of the largest eruptions in history, an absolute mega bomb of an explosion. 232 BC, Lake Taupo exploded and it was recorded in ancient writings in Europe as the sky darkening and actually in several places in the world, in China as well I, th I think, they recorded the, the sky darkening because there was so much ash and it was such a massive explosion that basically rocked the world. It wouldn't rock the world but it sent ash around the world. It threw up 1,000 times more rock than uh, Mount St. Helens. Uh, if you're old enough, you might remember Mount St. Helens in uh, Washington State, the United States, exploded in 1980. This was a thousand times larger. If you're enjoying your flight and want to help out the pilot and co-pilot fly you around the world in your personal private jet, please like and subscribe down below. It'll really help us a lot. Thank you. Well, this is a nice shot. We're coming into Rotorua, which is the geothermal wonderland of New Zealand. It's one of the top tourist destinations in the country along with Queenstown. It has lots of boiling mud, geysers, uh, sulfur springs. It's quite spectacular actually. There's a wonderful place called Hell's, Hell's Gate which looks kind of hellish. What's amazing is even on the golf course you've got steam coming out of the holes in the golf course. It's pretty, um, it's pretty interesting. The whole place smells of sulfur. Flaps. Oh, looks like the flaps are broken. Oh, that's a problem. Five hundred. Coming in a bit rough, but it's uh, pretty hard without the flaps. So they're just not taking. So it's going to be a hard landing, guys. Hold on. The flaps really slow us down, but they're just not actually turning on. Must be a mechanical error. Well, it is a mechanical error. Let's see if we can still get down anyway. Oh, I told you it'd be rough. Stall. 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 Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a crash landing. Um, the flaps came on, but they came on really late. We made it. Made it without the flaps. Now our next flight will be to the largest city in New Zealand, Auckland, past the beautiful beaches of the Coromandel Peninsula. That video is going to be in the top right when it's ready. And at the top left is our last trip from Christchurch, past Kaikoura and through Nelson to Wellington.